Most people save their $2 bills because they believe them to be valuable. But the truth is, they're only worth $2. However, if your $2 bill has a unique serial number of some kind, it could have more value. Yeah, I mean, if you have a, a $2 bill with a fancy serial number, that serial number, there's literally just one of them. Like a radar note. A radar note is when the serial number reads the same forwards and backwards. Every one in 10,000 notes printed is a radar. And similarly for a repeater note as well. A repeater serial number is when the first four repeat and the last four repeat in the eight digit serial number. And this is the repeater with the repeater serial number of 0888-0888. There's also a ladder and it can be a full ladder as one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Or it can be a partial ladder if you see the one, 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 two, three, four, five, six serial number. When $2 bills are printed, the serial number is generated from several factors. The block prefix letter matches the letter of the corresponding Federal Reserve Bank from which the bills will be issued. The eight-digit serial number traditionally starts with number one and advances numerically throughout the run. The block suffix letter identifies the number of times the Bureau of Engraving and Printing used the sequence of serial numbers. It usually starts with A, but upon a new printing, or when the serial number rolls over like a car's odometer, the letter advances. Unless, of course, it's a star note. What does the star mean? The star is a replacement. The Bureau of Engraving and Printing is just a big printing operation. They know in advance that they're going to make mistakes. So before they start a new series year of any denomination, they print stars. We have to make sure that all of the notes that we put out into circulation are in sequential order so the star is produced and inserted when there is a serial number that doesn't meet the quality standard that has been set. The BEP caught a mistake. Oops, there was an error on that note, which means there was probably one on the sheet. The whole sheet is removed and a sheet has to be replaced into that stack in order for the count to come out right and that's where the star notes come in. They are the replacement for sheets that are removed for errors. $2 bills are limited in production, therefore $2 star notes are even more limited. A $2 bill from, let's say, 1976 that's a star might be worth anywhere from $20 to $50 in nice condition. In the great scheme of things, it's really not that valuable, but it's a lot less valuable than if we left the error in there, that would become a major high value collector's item and the Treasury is not in the business of creating collector's items. 